Hello everyone, Tech Fairy here, with the ninth in a series of video tutorials on the basics of t iMovie 10 for Yosemite. In the previous tutorial, I went over how to add titles to your movie. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add transitions to make your movie as seamless as possible. Transitions are quite similar to titles, the main difference being that unlike titles, transitions can't be inserted into the middle of a clip. To see the available transitions, click Transitions under Content Library. Notice that right now, the cut between my opening title card and the first movie clip is quite sharp. By adding a transition, we can smooth out the cut. Click and drag the transition of your choice between two clips. iMovie will automatically adjust the lengths of the clips and any other media to match the transition. Now the cut is more professional looking. Transitions can also be placed at the beginning and end of your movie. This allows your first clip to begin less abruptly and does the same for the end of your last clip. Notice that unlike other media clips, transitions can't be placed next to each other. They must have clips to space them out. To edit a transition, right-click on it in the timeline and select Show Precision Editor. At first glance, the precision editor may seem a bit confusing, but zooming in makes it a little clearer. Between each clip in the timeline is a hard point. Clicking on a hard point allows you to see the border between the two clips. There are also hard points at the beginning and end of the timeline. Clicking on a hard point with a transition attached to it allows you to modify how much time to spend transitioning and where to start and stop the transition. The outer handles on the hard point let you control the length, while the middle section moves the transition period forward or backward in the timeline. The shading on the two clips shows you where the transition starts and finishes. This allows you to have a very short transition or an extremely long one. Of course, you'll likely want to stick with something in between the two extremes. Click anywhere in the timeline to close the precision editor. You can also double click on a transition to open a simpler editor that allows you to quickly alter the length of the transition. Now you've learned how to add transitions to your movie. In the next tutorial, I'll go over saving and exporting your movie. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.